Good morning. This is Talk to Magic, where you can talk to magic. I'm Magic, and today we're discussing how to get over that crush, okay? So, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like, because I feel like people really do forget. Um, and think about subscribing, you know, maybe visit my other videos and see if, if this is a channel that you would want to stay tuned into. Alright, so when it comes to letting go of a crush, first of all, let's kind of talk about how does a crush develop, right? Because um, that'll kind of give you an idea of kind of how to end it, all right? You know, sometimes we might have um, experiences with somebody that we're attracted to. Maybe we were never attracted to this person, but then they, uh, you know, expressed that they were attracted to us and then we were attracted to them but then they hooked up with someone else or you know there's so so many different situations or maybe you know we liked somebody and they moved away or whatever you know there's so many different reasons why you might want to let go of a crush and um you know here's how i did it okay first of all a crush develops by um hold on one second <laughs> okay yeah sometimes you know a crush can develop by you know thinking about someone fantasizing about someone um you know and so i want to say you know you could or maybe you actually have memories with this person right maybe you've actually done some stuff with them like you know gone places gone on dates and and you know, you just kind of feel like it's difficult to stop thinking about them, right? So, first of all, um, the best way to start this off is when you start thinking about them, okay? Uh, stop yourself, okay? I remember, um, you know, the last few weeks, um, I myself have been getting over a crush. And this, of course, is why I um, am inspired to do this video because kind of like I've been through this you know what I mean I've I've been through that you know disappointment where you thought it might be going somewhere maybe you know you you were there was a mutual attraction but the timing just didn't work out doesn't work out um you know the best way to stop thinking about someone is to stop yourself from thinking about them um you know, when you start, let's say you're cooking or you're um, going for a walk with your pet or, you know, doing something out and about and you start to think about this person, you know, just kind of like, whoa, 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 you know, stop yourself. Be like, hey, look, um, can't think about them anymore. You know, no matter what happens in the future, we really need to stop thinking about them. OK, and do your best to. um you know, cut off those images in your mind of that person, you know, the the times that you saw them or, you know, the times that they looked at you or, you know, the, the moment your eyes met or whatever. Try to erase those images from your mind. I mean, of course, you, you can't probably erase them, but cut them off. You know what I mean? If If they pop up, you know, squash it down, push it to the side and think of something else. Um... It's kind of like what you allow your mind to think of, it will continue to think of. Um, and so definitely interrupting any thoughts you might have about that person would be a great start. Okay. Now, the second step would be to stop looking for them on social media. Stop familiarizing yourself with what they're doing. Stop updating yourself on them. Um... And if they're maybe an artist, a musician, um, photographer, whatever, whoever it is that's connected to this person that might know them or kind of like actively put them, post them online, um, do your best to either, and see, this is the thing, this is what's so cool about social media these days is that Sometimes you don't even have to unfollow people. Um, sometimes if you actually click on, like, 
for example, oh, well, I won't use examples because I don't really know what the rights are for mentioning stuff like that. But sometimes if somebody posts something online, you can actually hit on that little button on the upper left hand or the right hand corner. Just like, you know, kind of where, not the settings are, but kind of like where the post settings are, I guess. And um, mute that person or just kind of like let the let that social media platform know that you want to see less of their posts, material, and content. And that'll kind of allow you some space, right? Um, you know, if there are any people that try to, you know, make you remember that person or constantly reminding you of that person, um, at least maybe distance yourself from them for a season like let's say you have mutual friends with this person and this person's you know your mutual friends with them talk about them a lot you know maybe take a take a little bit of a step back or when they're talking about that other person kind of you know cut them off you know or not cut them off but kind of like change the subject from that other person to something else you know um you can make it known that you really don't want to talk about them or, you know, in a very subtle way, just continuously move away from them and somebody will understand, um, you know, why, why, or, or that you just don't want to talk about that person, right? And if you feel like, you know, this crush is something that you have to hide and you kind of don't want to um, really let anyone know that you like them, then find find some sort of a way to cut them off in a way that seems like you're really not aware of what you're doing like for example let's say you're at a restaurant or you're at a lunch or at an event or something and people are talking about this one guy that or one girl that you like or whatever one woman that you like um let them continue on for like a second look off for a few seconds don't make you know too many physical movements that make you seem kind of like nervous or jittery or upset or whatever and then just be like you know what hey you guys um i'll be back right in a in a second grab your phone and walk away really quickly or not really quickly but just kind of like you know casually go to the bar and then kind of like walk away or you know, walk to the restroom or something like that, you know, just kind of find a way to, um, just move away, move away from everything that has to do with that person, you know, remove all reminders, maybe pictures that you have of this person in your phone. If you don't want to delete them forever, because let's say memories and maybe one day you want to look back because there are other people in that thing or maybe this person is well known and the photo you feel is like almost historic or something <laughs> if for some reason you feel like um the photo is important save it somewhere online that you really don't visit very often and um and kind of leave it there you know what i mean don't revisit it just put it in a place where you know you really do not go to very often um all videos text messages you know unless for some reason legally you need to hold on to them i don't know um you know and i'm not like a legal professional or anything like that no no legal advice given here but i'm just saying like do what you can to get rid of this person okay um <laughs> and make sure that you don't have to look at their pictures or think about them because it's kind of like let's say you really um let's say let's say they led you on right because sometimes you'll be crushing on somebody and they'll be acting like they really like you and maybe they do really like you but let's say they like like 10 other people as well and they've just been flirting with all of these people right spending time with everybody um and let's say they end up, you know, entering into a long-term relationship with somebody who, somebody out of those 10 people that is not you, right? Um, 
and you kind of feel like maybe violated because other people knew about it um violated because you feel like you maybe went too far gave too much um it can be difficult right it can be difficult when you feel like you invested in this person and they kind of just took from you um you know or maybe you gifted this person and they just took it and, and left you right well just realize that everything comes back around and people who don't honor others you know people who don't respect other people um think about how their actions af um, affect them or influence them um you know everything comes back around these people themselves will probably find themselves disappointed in love at some point and um just realize that everything comes back around you know especially if somebody purposefully was just uncaring in how their actions affected you and they were just looking for fun you know either way um realize that if it's difficult to forgive them then just realize that everything comes back around right because hopefully hopefully you'd be first able to forgive them and realize like you know what maybe i'm better off maybe we wouldn't have been a good match anyways maybe they unfortunately feel like this is the better option for them or whatever you know try to come from a place of love and and forgive them but if you can't do that then just realize that everything comes back around and people's actions always have an effect on you know life and then it 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 they get the results of that you know and usually hurtful behavior bad behavior doesn't have a good outcome for the person who inflicted that pain on the other person so with all that being said letting go of your crush could really help you free yourself to notice others that are that are interested that are even better options right because sometimes let's say we've been crushing on somebody for like a long time right let's say maybe we've been crushing on them for like five years or something or maybe longer and um let's say it just never happened um the best thing to do would be to let go as soon as possible because the longer you take to let go the the more days you'll spend sad about this person you know the the more time will go on that you're walking around heartbroken and you know your head your face might be downcast and there might be three four five even better options or just even more exciting fulfilling suitors options whatever crossing your path noticing you but you're just so heartbroken that when you see them you think about ooh, you think about love and you're just so like you push it away you're like no like you know sometimes um the simple fact that we look so heartbroken makes people not sure if they should approach us or not because since they don't know what's going on they really don't know how to approach and they don't want to step into something that they're going to be way in over their head in approaching you know you know, they don't know if when they start talking to you, you're just going to burst out into tears and like try to try to grab them and hold them or something like they don't know. You know what I mean? Or if or if like they try to say, hey, what's going on? You're going to scream at them and say none of your business or something. You know what I mean? Like you never know. And, and they don't want to experience that. Right. There could be a variety of reasons why people don't approach people when they're sad um, and it's kind of unfortunate because I feel like back in the day, people were probably a lot more concerned. Um, but you know, there are parts in society, places in society where, you know, bad behavior is just like the cultural norms. And then these people travel throughout different areas and kind of spread this negative culture where people are less caring, you know what I mean? So 
I don't know if that made sense to anybody, but with all that being said, you know, just realize that <clears throat> things happen, you know what I mean? Even the most beautiful people, um, or even the most popular people, you know, it's kind of like there's always going to be somebody higher in society. There's always going to be somebody who you feel, who they feel is more attractive or worthy or, you know, appealing. And everybody's going to experience disappointment in some stage or another. So with all that being said, um, don't lose hope. Just know that one of these days you're going to have a crush on somebody because they're so fine or beautiful or cool or funny, smart, different, unique. And they're also going to have a crush on you too. You know what I mean? And you guys are going to discover to each other like, or, or discover of each other that you were both, that you had this mutual attraction. So with all that being said, like the video, leave a comment. Let me know if you're feeling disappointed or, or if you're trying to let go of a crush um, and, and if this helped you in any way. Okay. Peace.